Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share one of my experience today I have in my network I'm managing. So in the morning, my users call me that they cannot connect to a terminal server, terminal server we have in the network. That server is a Hyper-V and users couldn't connect at all with remote desktop connection. When I checked the issue on the network, uh, based on the description in the error, it mentioned that the error might be causing by DNS. Uh, but the DNS in my network was working fine and no issue was related to DNS. After I checked my uh, status of the configuration and server settings, I found that issue related to the time so the something that happened on my virtual machine that the time was not sync with the server when I start to troubleshoot I will share some uh, tips how to troubleshoot the problem when it happened okay as you can see this is my uh, this is my uh, client that's my lab and this is my domain controller and I will show you some commands how to troubleshoot. First thing for checking the time you need to run the command prompt as administrator. The first command you can check is net time command which is show you what is the system time on your on your client machine. So as you can see right now, this is showing my time and the time is correct. Of course, this is my lab and I'm just going to show how I did the troubleshooting for this problem. So as you can see, this is my domain controller and right now my client getting the, the configuration from the uh, from domain controller. And this is some useful command for troubleshooting. If the server time has changed and you need to manually resync the server, this is the good command can be used. So this command can be pasted on the server. I will show you how to do it. Okay, one more time. I will go and run the command prompt as administrator. So this is the first command you can run to synchronize the time on the server. This is the address of the NTP, the public NTP. You can use any others like this one, time.windows.ca. The next command is w32config update. So because the time is configured, uh, you need to update it. I will update this one and then you can Resync the time so it forced to syncing with the NTP. And again, the time. Uh, this command is very useful and it forced my client in the network to sync with the domain controller so you can run it on the on your client side in the network and as you can see again this one is happening so let me to explain what happened today so after I configure and set all these times I see it's still my time is not correct on my client side but on the server the time was correct after i did more investigation i found that my virtual machine which which was running on the hyper e there is a setting in the hyper e time synchronization 
So the problem was related to my host server. So the time on my host server was changed. And when this check is on, it forced the virtual machine to sync the time with the host server. And the, the problem, after I check this one, and I resync and force the time on my client side. The problem was resolved. Uh, I would like to add something here about this command. This one showing us the difference between our server or our computer time with the NTP time. I will run it just on my workstation and show you what's the output of the command. So as you can see, every cup, every second. It's showing me the difference between my computer time and the time with NTP server. This one is the NTP server. So I hope you learned something from my experience. Please subscribe to my channel for more tips.